Hi guys, I have another collaboration video for you today, another training video, and I'm joined by three new people, uh, Chunky Steve, John Bennett, and Lee Hotwood. Now it's gonna be a slightly different video today because we're also gonna be trying a new pre-workout called All Black Everything by a company called Applied Nutrition. I don't know if you can see, but there's a uh, extremely potent warning on this, uh, this pre-workout because the dosages are pretty high. It says not to exceed um, one dose. So Lee says he's gonna take two scoops. We'll see what happens. If he has a cardiac arrest, it's up to Lee. So we're gonna try it now, try the different flavors. We've got blue ras, tropical, and sour apple. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see what we think, see what it tastes like, and then go work out in the gym. How much you it's, it's you busy. kinda of lost your spoon, mate. Sour apple is definitely sour, they were not lying. Oh, that's quite sour as well. Oh, that's quite nice, though. Yeah? Does it taste like love? No. He's <laughs> <laughs> done that up already, isn't it? These are a, a terrible kick. A terrible kick? A brilliant kick to it, as I say. <laughs> you can tell it's going to have an effect straight away, can't you? Oh, well, as soon as your eyes are popping out. <laughs> I'm going for a perfectly level scoop here, I think. That is, that is blue. That is definitely blue. Blue blue. It's like a mouthwash, isn't it? It is, yeah. That is like smurf blue. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Freaking bad blue. Yeah, there's a definitely yeah. It kick tastes though. nice. It's there's definitely kick, a kick, yeah, it's a bit, I don't know if it's comforting or disturbing. Like soon soon find out. Mmm. Whoa. It's sour, it's isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a kick afterwards. That's my new favourite. Can I try yours? Are you got to make you up. Try Steve's. He's like, no. I need to stir. You know, you just have a bit more of that. That's super strong. I'm not a fan of that one. The green apple is the winner for me. It's all right. It's got quite a tang to it. Yeah, it has a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. That's like a. Uh, nice. That's an apple sour. sour. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, um, just finished my first serving. Uh, one scoop was probably definitely enough. Um, I'm already feeling quite lightheaded, um, in a good way, I think. And I've got very tingly lips. Yep, for it's definitely starting to switch already, so it's <laughs> a good sign. I can feel it, it's starting to circulate. I'm getting a <laughs> good feeling. Okay, so we took the pre-workout about three minutes ago. John. I took it and I'm on fire. I don't know what's wrong with John, but he's gone very red.
Yes. I'll do. I'll do one set of plates. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's been about 48 hours now since we've uh, first tried this All Black Everything pre-workout. So we've had a little bit of time to reflect upon the products and, uh, and the workout that we had. So the first thing I thought I'd talk about is probably the taste. So I had blue raspberry. What do you guys have? I had tropical. Sour apple for me. And the tropical. So I really like the blue raspberry flavour. I thought it was very nice. I like the sour apple as well. Wasn't a big fan of tropical. If I'm completely honest, I don't know what you guys thought. No, I, I didn't enjoy the tropical either. What about you, Steve? I quite, I quite like the tropical. Did you? Um, it's the, too strong for me. The apple was very much like uh, apple sours. If you're, uh, if you're keen on that, I couldn't really taste the blue raz. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't. Didn't taste of anything. <laughs> it tasted of blue. <laughs> Fair enough. And what do we think about the strength of the workout then? When we first, well, strength of the pre-workout when we first tried it. I noticed uh, tingling yeah. in my face straight away. Yeah, massive tingling in the face. My face was just on fire. Um, but in terms of how I felt before the workout, I was kind of normal, but yeah, just burning of the face basically. <laughs> so my workout was pretty good. Um, I didn't really feel it that much while I was working. Maybe some tingles in my hands and my face, but then it turned out I did do a, a two hour workout and at the end of it, I, you know, I wasn't really finished. I still wanted to do more. So that's probably a good sign for, for a pre-workout. Were you? Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed my workout. I mean, as soon as I got in there, I went similar sort of face to John, didn't I? I went mm. quite red and sort of tingly. Um, but the buzz sort of did give me quite a good session. So, yeah, overall, I got I got what I'd done, and if not more. Mm. So, straight after the workout, I, uh, I went home, and it was quite late at night. I think we took the pre-workout maybe around 5, half 5. Mm. So, I got home about 11 in the end, um, and I was pretty wired. Uh, I didn't think I was going to go to sleep. I went to bed around 12 and actually got to sleep, no problem. So I, I was fine after it. I don't know how you guys got on. I felt quite ill. Um, <laughs> straight, after the, straight after the workout, uh, walking back to my car, I felt ill, like I'd overtrained. Um, I not felt like that for a long time. It was, it was an uncomfortable sickness. <laughs> um, I don't know whether maybe I was just hungry or if I overtrained. Uh, we were training for a long time, we were yeah, like two hours. Good, good, yeah, good, 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 yeah. By the time I got home, I was fine, so I think it was just... Hungry. Hungry, exertion. You felt... Yeah, I did have the same as you, Steve, so I'm not too sure whether it's down, again, down to being in the gym for two hours or down to the pre-workout itself, but I don't, I, I don't know. It could, it could just be the fact that you had that much energy to just keep going that you've just pushed past the barrier that usually you probably stop at. I mean, I did one and a half scoops. If you oh remember. yeah. So I had, I had a great pump. I was in there, but I did feel a bit uneasy when we got home. But um, yeah, you had lots of veins as well yeah, didn't you, during your during, workout. During the workout, but I think it reminds me to an old no explode one where it really does give you a great pump, and then sometimes you can struggle to sleep. I didn't struggle to sleep, but. I can see, you know, sometimes it probably could give you that effect, couldn't it? Especially with yourself. And yeah, well, I mean, I, I drink lots of coffee during the day, and this is quite a high caffeine product. So um, I think I was a little bit concerned about that personally, but as I say, it worked out okay for me in the end. Um, what about during your workout? Anything you said you had big pumps? Big pumps, good, some good veins, then I had some good veins going on. Yeah. Yeah, during, during a session, it, it, I think it was brilliant for, for a session. I just think sometimes you've got to remember that there are after effects as well. Yeah, I accidentally got a, P, a PR as well because I miscounted my weights. So I thought I was struggling with the weight and then it turned out it was, it was actually quite heavy for me. So I guess that's quite a good sign. Will you guys take it again? Yeah, I think I probably would. Uh, no, I'm going to have to pass. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the face burning thing is... Uh, not something I'm willing to repeat, so. But you're new to pre-workout, so. I am pretty new to it, yeah, so maybe it's just a bit overpowered for, you know, starting off with it, so maybe in a few months I might try it again, but not in the immediate. 
if you could chin out. Well, I'm definitely going to try it again. I, I'm I'm used to taking some quite strong pre-workouts, and I normally take two scoops of uh, like C4, for example. Um, but I think I'll probably save it for special occasions. I think you know if I'm feeling particularly slight, tired or uh, sluggish, that'll be the time for me to take it. I think if I took it every day, um, then I think I might struggle a yeah. little bit. Yeah. What about you? I was going to say yeah. If you took it every day, I could imagine you you could get a bit uneasy. But I think next time. I've never seen a supplement that says stick to one scoop, and you probably do need to stick to one scoop. That's probably my bit what I can take away from it. So I don't know. I think I, I, I mean the the diagram shows a heaped scoop. Um, so I, I've always been a two scoop kind of guy. Um, so I think I, I didn't I didn't feel it that strongly. Obviously I had, a, I had quite a big workout, but I didn't. You could only use this for certain sessions though, couldn't you? There's oh yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it daily. But a leg session would be brilliant to get. Yeah, you definitely. It? Leg session would definitely be good. Two scoops on the leg session. <laughs> <laughs> what did everybody train in? So I, we, me and Steve did a bit of a full body workout. We just kind of tried a little bit of everything. It wasn't really like a proper workout, I guess. We just did legs, back, chest. We did, you know, a bit of everything. Yeah, about you? me and John did a bit of back and buys, didn't back we? Back and buys, yeah. Great session, yeah. Yeah. Cool, good stuff. Well, if you guys try it, Make sure you let us know and uh, comment below, let us know what you think of it. If you want to buy the product, I've put a link to the description at um, appliednutrition.uk. Uh, I've also got links to these guys' uh, YouTube channels as well. So if you like this video or you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a like and uh, subscribe for more videos. Cheers!